Journal Entry 349 Jason, Marcus, and I went out on recon. We put on some clothing that the apartment owner had, stripped his mind of local customs, and went out. Jason had something he spotted and wanted to take a better look at the central hub of the city on his earlier tour. We found that appeared to be a museum. A museum of earth tech, behind glass. Most of it was broken or damaged in some way and had been sitting for centuries. MP3 players, tablets, cell phones, guns with no ammo, and other weapons. Simpler things like toothbrushes, bottles, and wallets. Everything had been labeled and dated. Everything stolen from previous groups. Technology they couldn't understand but were hoping to one day. I called the guard over and made him unlock some of the cases. We took what we deemed useful or repairable and left the rest. I erased the missing items from the guard's mind so he wouldn't suspect. Memories of seeing us after we left. We ended up with two smartphones of a type that wasn't made yet when we left, one pair of sunglasses, two pistols, a Walther P99, which may be able to use the same bullets as mine but needed desperate attention, and an HK Mark 23 with no ammo, and a good old Mossberg shotgun with no ammo. We'll see if we can fix that once we get out of this mess. Currently, Austin's trying to fix up the other 9mm pistol while we're having another meal of mint paste from the food tube. We're... Gonna do another recon once the city enters its night cycle. Journal Entry 350 Jason has a new pistol and it's got a full magazine. We don't know if Austin's maintenance worked. Not that we can test it without drawing a lot of attention. The city guards have taken notice of our shenanigans and have been doing regular patrols, warning of strange people acting strangely and so on. We're being extra cautious. We took a tour of the lower sections of the city to find any faults, anything we could take advantage of but found nothing obvious. Uh, we're figuring that the best way to bring this city down is to sabotage various systems around like the food tubes or sewer systems or water supplies, but the place is too big to just destroy. We don't even know if they have any contingency plans, or if they have any. Unleashing Rihanna would be an option, but I don't think she'd get too far before they manage to put her down. If all else fails, we'll just start assassinating the leadership from the top down and hope they don't have regenerative capabilities like a certain spymaster.